lot. It's on break for the summer, but it is starting back up come September. So we want to be ready for Pit Stop when it comes in September. Lots of fun for all ages, food, games, they even have prizes. So all my little ones, bring your dollars, five, tens up here to our treasure chest. little treasure hunters. They made sure to get every dollar, didn't they? <laughs> okay. Do you guys see what I have up here in my hand? What does everything on this tray have in common? What is it all? Oh, I heard somebody say it. Chocolate. Oh my goodness. Look at it. It's all that we got. Chocolate donut, chocolate brownie, chocolate cookie, chocolate cocoa, Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Did you guys know how chocolate's made? No. Usually we put sugar and maybe some milk in it, but the most important ingredient in chocolate is the cacao bean. Does anyone know where we get most of our cacao beans in all the world where it is? Go ahead. You're right, they grow from trees. And those trees, yeah? Yeah, they are. And so those trees are mainly found in what we call the Ivory Coast. Does anyone know where that is? No. Any other guesses? No. It's in Africa. Yes, and the average wage for a person who lives there is about seven euros because in that area they're still European, and so they have seven euros a day, some of these people who own these big farms. That's not a lot. That's like saying this farmer gets seven dollars a day for him and his family to live on. I know, and one candy bar, one candy bar costs two euros. So what's really sad is you have these men who work their whole lives on these farms making these beautiful cacao beans so that we can eat the yummy, yummy chocolate, and they've never tasted it. Well, there was a man who thought, that just doesn't seem fair. They go their whole lives planting these trees, cultivating them, making these beautiful chocolates for us, and they never get to taste it. So he decided to take some candy bars and to go over and he interviewed these men and he asked them, what do you think these cacao beans are used for? And they said, well, we know it's something that people eat, but we, we don't know what they make out of this. And so he said, here, let me show you. And he unwrapped a candy bar and they looked at it kind of like, that doesn't look the best. Now, if you've never ate chocolate before, do you think it looks appetizing? You have. Oh, you're so lucky. I have too. It's yummy. But they didn't know that yet. So they looked a little skeptical at that bar. And then, you know what they did next? He said, just try a little bit. So he tried it. And his face lit up with the biggest smile. And he said, oh, it's so sweet. He didn't expect that. He said, 
it's so good. And the man said, here, I want to give you this whole candy bar now. And he's, oh, really, for me? And he was so excited at how good this tasted and how wonderful it was. Do you know the first thing he wanted to do? Do you think he just wanted to shove that whole candy bar in his mouth and eat it all up to himself? No. He wanted to share it. He said, oh, my friends have never tasted this. They've got to know the goodness, the sweetness of the candy bar. So he ran over and he told them, sit down. This friend has brought us a special treat. And they unwrapped it and one by one took bites. And oh, their faces lit up too. Oh my goodness, it's so sweet. It's so good. They were amazed by the amazing taste and wonderfulness of this chocolate. You know what? That's how God's word is for us. It may look simple. It may look plain. But when you taste the goodness of God's word, not only does it make you beam with happiness and joy, but you want to share it with others. You want to tell the whole world of God's sweetness. You did too. And wouldn't you want to share it with other soul? God's word tells us in Psalms, you like it too. Oh. In Psalms 34, verse 8. says, oh, taste and see the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. You guys are so blessed to know of God's love. You live in a place where you can share it freely. I hope that since you have tasted the goodness and sweetness of God's love, that you guys will go home and share that sweetness with others. Let them know the joy that you already know. Now, I'm not going to sweeten you guys up with chocolate, but I do have something for each one of you to take back to your seat. I ask before we do, I'm going to be over here in this corner so that we don't interrupt the other people as they're worshiping, okay? But follow me over here and I'll give you something special.